Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial, we will be taking a look again. Uh, one of the same things which is uh, killing a network via Wi-Fi. I taught you previously how we can do that. But in this tutorial, uh, the way I would be going over and teaching you would be to go ahead and DDoS a Wi-Fi that's distributed denial of service attack. Or I'll just show you, for example, a, a denial of service attack not distributed because I would be requiring multiple Kali Linux operating systems for that to be running. So, and after that, I would be teaching you the Armon NG, Arrow Dump NG, and killing it out with access, without access, and finally snipping HTTP th traffic through DriftNet. So, to start with Wi-Fi kill, I'll just go ahead and show you a simple process, but uh, the only concern over here is that since I'm using uh, this Kali Linux on VMware, I won't be able to go ahead and access my Wi-Fi because VMware uh, does not detect, uh, let's say, it does, as you can see, I it cannot go ahead and detect wireless networks. So I won't be able to use uh, the uh, Wi-Fi over here. But if you are using a dongle or something specific, a VMware will uh, be able to detect that and then you can go ahead and use that separately. So I'll just be showing you simple commands as to how we, uh, which we can go ahead and use to go ahead and kill the network. So the first thing that we need to do would be to go ahead and create multiple fake access points. So by doing for doing that, we need to go ahead and type mdk3 space mon0 because mon0 would be our fake Wi-Fi spot. B space hyphen space uh, c1 and hyphen n and uh, any name of uh, the router. So I'll just type fake uh, fake uh, let's say hotspot. Perfect. What this would be doing is that this would be creating fake hotspots uh, everywhere, and you can name it anything that you want. So for let's say for example, if you want to go and attack a computer let's say for example you are at mcdonald's and uh, they are using the name of their uh, mcdonald's is uh, mcdonald's for example their hotspot so you can just go ahead and type over here uh, mcdonald's McDonald's, you can just type it over here, McDonald Wi-Fi, and after that, uh, it will just create multiple uh, uh, fake hotspots of Wi-Fi, which will redirect their traffic to you. And uh, if you want to just create some random hotspots, you can just type uh, MDK3 Mon0 space B, and we'll create n number of uh, fake hotspots. And to run the, uh, uh, to start fake access points where SID is there in a text file, let's say, for example, if you have created a text file with multiple uh, let's say hotspots. Let's say, for example, this is a text file with your txt. Open it down and just type a fake hotspot McDonald's, Mac KFC, and Mac, let's say, chicken. Uh, any random names I'm doing. This it's just not a matter of concern. So, if you have n number of um, let's say names over here, then you can also go ahead and use these names to create hotspots. So, you, all you need to just go ahead and type would be just type your interface network, such as let's say, for example, you can type mdk3 mon0 space b space hyphen f and you can type where, uh, the address as to where this is exactly. So, this, this one would be on my desktop. I'll just type let's say desktop hyphen now type test or txt and as soon as i hit enter or there will be uh, all of these uh, fake hotspots created with these name over here so that is just one example as to how we can go ahead and do that and uh, so here i'll just go ahead and show you something different right now uh, if you want to go ahead and capture the packets from a person's computer uh, you need to go ahead and start your fake interface the that would be the first thing so in order for us to do that, let's first start our interface network. So that is, um, we need to go ahead and start our uh, uh, network. So I'll just type ifconfig. And I don't have Wi-Fi over here as you can see. So I would be using my Ethernet 0, that's ETH 0. And I have not yet tried this before on a wired network over LAN. So just let me check if I could do that. Because I mostly tried this on a wireless network. So let's go ahead and run this mon0 and check airmon space ng start and eth zero okay perfect so it is running that as me the that means so perfect that means uh, we have started the network now we need to run mon zero that is a fake uh, or virtual lan to gather the mac id info about our target router so for that we need to type a i r o d u m p hyphen n g space mon zero and okay uh, i don't have wireless i don't have uh, wireless lan so i have type ng okay so as you can see uh, ARP link is set to 1 and this is the AI expected ARP HRD but uh, the reason for uh, uh, me not able to run this because I don't have a Wi-Fi that's 802.11 but if you had a Wi-Fi then you could surely be able to go ahead and run this and 
this should target a TDL uh, just to go ahead and uh, do a distributed denial of service attack or a, DD or a denial of service attack. Just go ahead and type these things. And this since this is not running on my system uh, because I don't have a Wi-Fi over here on my uh, computer. But if you had a Wi-Fi, then it, this will run surely, and you will see that Mon Zero is up and running. And after that, only to go to DDoS uh, your target. Just need to type A I R E P L A Y airplay hyphen N G and space hyphen D E A U T H space thousand hyphen A and uh, over here it would be your uh, targets underscore mag underscore ID. This would be your target mac ID and over here hyphen H and over here it would be your. I'll just go and close this else. You don't, need to, you don't need to type these arrows. I'm just typing so that you will, it will be easier for you to understand. Over here, it would be your attacker Mac ID. And then you just type mon0 and space ignore negative 1. Perfect. And as soon as you type over here, it would be your uh, target's Mac ID, uh, target Mac ID, and it would be over your attacker Mac ID. This means your victim, target means the victim. And as soon as you're going to type this, it will start sending n number of packets to your uh, uh, target's Wi-Fi and he will, the, the Wi-Fi. So what I'm doing in short over here is that I'm sending multiple packets uh, to your Wi-Fi to go ahead and connect, but your Wi-Fi is unable to go ahead and capture all of these packets and it will be confused and finally it will be distorted and it will have to reboot once again. It will not work until unless you have rebooted. In short, I'm doing a distributed denial. I'm doing a denial of service attack, and that's how it works. So this is one part. But if you already have access to uh, your target's uh, router after you have hacked into the Wi-Fi, you don't need to go ahead and type all these things. There are simple ways to go ahead and do that. So uh, to check all the list of IP address connection, you can just type nmap sp as I taught you previously. You can just type this and you will see uh, which MAC ID you have. And uh, we can go ahead and finally check your router's gateway by typing R-O-U-T-E hyphen N and uh, the specific class. G R E P and you can just go ahead and type the upper arrow 0 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 and now again the closed bracket and C U T hyphen D hyphen F and 10. Okay, sorry, 10. Okay, so as you can see, this is my route default router through which I'm uh, going ahead and passing everything, and on which uh, my Windows 7 is also there. Let's run close this unnecessary resources. Perfect. So this is uh, the method as to how we can go ahead and gather information. And once you have this specific thing, you can straight away go ahead and kill your router by using uh, the previous method that is ARP spoof. Uh, hyphen e that I, I, I slash and this would be your network over here. I'm using ETH zero. If you have a wireless LAN, then it will be WLAN zero. Hyphen t to specify the target. This is your MAC ID. Uh, not sorry, MAC ID. This is your gateway router, and this is the target. Just go ahead and type your uh, these things, and it will kill the router. Now we have seen these things. But uh, there are something different that is we can go and sniff the HTTP th traffic through Driftnet. Sniffing these HTTP traffic through Driftnet, it won't work on HTTPS because we will have to strip the SSL. So for the beginner part, I will only teach you the HTTP. That is, uh, it's if it's not secure, if it's only on HTTP and not HTTPS, then you will be able to gather all information or the, at least the images that I will be teaching you today. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how we can go ahead and DD awesome network. Uh, no, sorry, not DD awesome network. I'll be teaching you how we can go ahead and uh, gather information and how we can go ahead and surpass in, uh, surpass the um, protective shield of our target's uh, MAC ID. And then finally, we will be able to gather all the information that we need through Driftnet.